Shalom. I am Rabbi Mark Schneier, and welcome to the Hampton Synagogue Kabbalat Shabbat broadcast. Kabbalat Shabbat is the service that welcomes the Sabbath with a series of readings and chants, including well-known psalms and songs. We are thrilled to partner with JBS. It's a chance for Jews across America to hear from one of our generation's greatest cantors, our own Nathaniel Hirschstick, accompanied by our renowned professional choir conducted by Maestro Itzchak Haimov. My colleague, Rabbi Avraham Bronstein, will co-officiate. The Hampton Synagogue, Rabbi Mark Schneier Community Center, a modern Orthodox traditional congregation was founded in 1990. Making the ordinary extraordinary is our motto as hundreds upon hundreds from all denominations and walks of life, from Manhattan to Montauk, participate in our unparalleled services and programs. A special thank you to Sheba Medical Center, recognized by Newsweek as Israel's leading hospital and one of the top 10 medical centers in the world. As a generous supporter of this broadcast, Sheba not only tends to our physical needs, but to our spiritual needs as well. My friend, Shabbat is a release from weekday concerns and routine pressure. Shabbat is a much needed respite from the frenetic pace of contemporary life where we travel at twice the speed of sound and half the speed of sense. Shabbat is a time of peace, tranquility, inner joy, and spiritual elevation. Shabbat is also called the Sabbath Queen, Shabbat Hamalka, symbolic of its majesty, beauty, and grace. We welcome you to our congregation for the next half hour. Let us experience together the majesty and beauty, the magnificence and grandeur of the Hampton Synagogue Friday evening Kabbalat Shabbat service. Shabbat Shalom.
Please be seated. According to the Talmudic sage Rabbi Akiva, the great principle underlying the Torah is love your neighbor as thyself. V'yahavta l'reacha kamocha. The word kamocha, as yourself, also reappears in the context of Shabbat. The Torah teaches that not only are we to abstain from work on the Sabbath, but our families, our employees, even our property are to abstain as well. In the words of the fourth commandment, as recorded in the book of Devarim, Leman Yanuach Avdecha Amatcha Kamocha, so that even your servant and your maid should rest, and note that word, Kamocha, as yourself. During the week, there may be rich people and poor people, employers and employees, the powerful and the vulnerable, even masters and servants. But on Shabbat, we all rest from those activities that would normally distinguish us from each other. So Shabbat is a weekly reminder of the essential human dignity that we all share, and therefore a chance to connect to our neighbors, our fellows, on a deep fundamental level. On Shabbat, everyone is kamocha, everyone is as yourself. We welcome the Shabbat with the chanting of Echad Dodi, page 368. Thank you. 
The children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, observing the Shabbat throughout the generations as an everlasting covenant. It is a sign forever between God and the Jewish people that the Lord made heaven and earth in six days and rested on the seventh day. O Lord, you sanctified the seventh day for the sake of your name, the culmination of creation of heaven and earth. You blessed the Sabbath above all days and sanctified it above all times. To bless and sanctify our Shabbat this evening. I invite Ravanit and Sarah Berlin to light the Shabbat candles for us. <coughs> Shabbos and Shabbat Shalom. Please be seated.